Um, Congressman, I, I want to follow up on what I raised with the defense secretary, and that is that China really doesn't care uh, if we found out about this, that maybe it was intentional, and they don't care about our reaction, period. What do you think? Well, Neil, thanks for having me on. And, Thank you. You know, I think you're right. You can look back at two years under President Biden of failures to protect the sovereignty of the United States. Um, and the only, the only response that matters right now is one of strength. Uh, and, and they really don't care. Um, and this is less about them now, and it's more about us and our response. I mean, look at the failed border policies, you know, the physical border where we have five and a half million people coming across. Look at this balloon issue where the minute that that crosses onto the sovereign airspace, the sovereign territory of the United States, it needs to be dealt with. I mean, I'm an F-22 pilot. Uh, in my previous career, it's been reported that F-22s were launched. I spent my entire career protecting the sovereignty of borders and the president is failing to do that. And it's sending a message of weakness where anyone can infiltrate our borders, whether it's our physical borders on the ground, whether it's the airspace, or think about TikTok and the other Chinese apps that are in every millions of Americans' homes spying on, uh, on Americans gathering data. This is the concerning thing. The policies of weakness are extremely concerning and they're very uh, telling to the rest of the world that would also do this. Any adversary that we have, they could test us. Real quickly, sir, the president is yet to say a word on this. What do you want to hear from him? We have to hear strength. President Biden needs to stand up and say unequivocally that it's not okay to mm -hmm. violate the sovereign airspace, the territory of the United States, and that this is going to be dealt with. And he has failed to do that time and time again. But that's what we need our national policymakers to do. That's what Congress, quite frankly, next week will be demanding oversight on why they have failed to do that. Congressman, thank you very much. I know you're going to be busy with this and so many other matters. We appreciate you taking the time on a Saturday. We will be exploring this with both prominent Democrat and Republican intelligence leaders, defense officials over these.